Hello everyone. Hope you all are safe and fine. Welcome back to our maths class. So in the previous class, we studied how to check the answer that we get in subtraction using addition, right? So today also we are continuing with our chapter subtraction and moving on to our next questions in the chapter. Okay. So first here we are given a question and the question is from the sum of 3097 and 4723 subtract 1896 okay from the sum of 3097 and 4723 have to subtract 1896 okay so here you can see the word sum right s u m sum have you heard this word before ah it is the answer that we get in addition the answer that we get in addition is called the sum right so here we have to do addition also for this question we have to do addition also okay so what we have to add it is given that we have to find the sum of 3097 and 4723 okay so first we have to find the sum of these two numbers and from that sum from the sum of these numbers we have to subtract 1896 so here we have to do our addition and also our subtraction so our two operations are coming together okay so first we have to find the sum of 3097 and 4723 and for that we have what we have to do we have to add these numbers okay okay now we are going to add these numbers and it is a four digit number and on addition 3097 plus 4723 okay now we are adding these numbers and 7 plus 3 gives 10 we are writing 0 here and 1 is carried 1 plus 9 gives 10 10 plus 2 gives 12 again 1 is carried 1 plus 0 gives 1 then 1 plus 7 gives 8 then 3 plus 4 gives 7. So, we got the sum as 7820. Okay. So, now we got the sum of two numbers. We have done our addition. Now, what is the next step? Uh, we have to subtract 1896. From where we have to subtract? From the sum of these two numbers. So, here we know the sum and from the sum we can now subtract 1896. Okay, so now we are going to subtract it and on subtraction, always we have to write the bigger number first, right? So, it is 7820 minus 1896. Okay, so on subtraction, starting from the ones please, here it is 0 minus 6, which is not possible. So, what we have to do? Ah, we have to borrow from the next place. So, on borrowing, the 2 will become 1 and the 0 will become 10. Okay. So, it is 10 minus 6 now. 10 minus 6 is 4. And now, in 10, please, it's 1 minus 9. Again, 1 minus 9 is not possible. 1 is less than 9. Right. So, borrowing from the next place. Borrowing from the hundreds, please. The 8 in hundreds, please, will become 7. And 1 in 10's place will become 11. Okay. So, now it's 11 minus 9. 11 minus 9 will give 2. Okay. Now, in 100's place, it's 7 minus 8. Again, 7 is less than 8. So, not possible to subtract. So, on borrowing from 1000's place, here in 1000's place, it will become 6. And in 100's place, 7 will become 17. Okay. Now it is 17 minus 8. 17 minus 8 is 9. And 6 minus 1. 6 minus 1 gives 5. So after subtraction we got the answer as 5924. Okay. So first we have find the sum of 3097 and 4723. And we got the sum as 7820. Okay. Then we subtracted 1896 from 
7820 okay and after subtraction we got the answer as 5924 okay so as per the question we have added first and then subtracted okay moving on to our next question and the next question is subtract the sum of 4267 and 3339 from 9265 okay so here also we have to add and then subtract okay so what we have to add here uh, sum of 4267 and 3339 has to be found okay so now let's find the sum of 4267 and 3339 okay so on adding we will get 7 plus 9 and 16 so we are writing 6 here and 1 is carried 10 place is 1 plus 6 7 7 plus 3 gives 10 so you are writing 0 here and 1 is carried then 1 plus 2, 1 plus 2 is 3, 3 plus 3 gives 6, so you are writing 6 here, then in thousands place it's 4 plus 3, 4 plus 3 is 7, okay, so we got the sum as 7606, okay, so sum of 4267 and 3339 is 7606, okay, and now what we have to do? We have to subtract the sum from 9265. Okay. So now we are going to subtract these numbers. So on subtraction, what we will get? Subtract 9265 minus 7606. Okay. We are subtracting. This 5 minus 6, 5 minus 6 is not possible, 5 is less than 6. So, on borrowing from the next place, what will come? The 6 in 10 place will become 5 and 5 in 1 place will become 15. Okay, so it is 15 minus 6, 15 minus 6 gives 9. Then it is 5 minus 0 in 10 place, 5 minus 0 is 5 itself. Then in hundreds place is 2 minus 6. 2 is less than 6. So we have to borrow from the next place. So on borrowing 9 in thousands place will become 8. And 2 in hundreds place will become 12. Okay. So it is 12 minus 6. 12 minus 6 is 6. Then 8 minus 7 in thousands place will give 1. So a number is 1659. So here first we find the sum of. 4267 and 3339 and we got the answer as 7606 the sum is 7606 and then what we have done we have subtracted the sum from 9265 9265 minus 7606 and got the answer as 1659 okay moving on to our next question and the question is Priya received Rs. 9,250 from her father. She spent Rs. 2,750 on clothes and Rs. 650 on books. How much money is left with her? Okay, so Rhea's father gave Rhea some amount, some amount. And how much amount Rhea received from father? Uh, she received 9250 rupees okay and from that amount she had taken some money to buy her clothes and books okay so the amount spent on clothes okay she spent rupees 2750 to buy the clothes and also she bought some books right and the amount spent on books is rupees 650 okay and these, these much things are given. And now what is the question? What we have to find? How much money is left with her? Okay, so we have to find after buying these clothes and books. After spending the amount for that. How much money is left with Rhea now? Okay, so to find that what we have to do? Uh, we have to subtract something from 9250. Because this was the total amount Rhea had. Okay, so... Then what we have to subtract? Uh, first that we have to find how much money Rhea spent in all. Okay. So how much money she spent for buying clothes and books. So to find the total amount she spent what we have to do? 
to find the total amount to find the total amount we spend we have to add these numbers okay we have to add the amount we are spent on clothes and also the amount we spend on books okay so first we have to find the total amount we are spent to find that we have to add what we spend on clothes and the amount we spend on books so here it is a four digit number and a three digit number is to be added okay so here 650 there is no digit in thousands please so what is there we can just put a zero there okay and now we are going to add it's zero plus zero zero plus zero gives zero five plus five five plus five is ten Writing zero here and one is carry one plus seven is eight eight plus six gives fourteen we are writing one here one is one is carry and one plus two is three three plus zero gives again three so we got the answer as 3400 okay so here we got the amount total amount we have spent and it is 3400 okay so the total amount we have spent is 3400 so her father has given 9250 rupees to her and from that rupees she has spent amount of 3400 okay so now what is the next step? Now we have to find how much amount is left with her after spending this month's amount after spending 3400 rupees. How much amount is left with her? To find, to find out that we have to subtract 3400 from 9250. Okay. What is the amount left with Rhea? To find that we have to subtract the total amount Rhea spent from the amount received from father. Okay. So the amount Ria received from father is 9250 and the total amount Ria spends is 3400. Now let's subtract these and find the answer. Let's find how much amount is left with Ria. Okay. So in subtraction, let's do the subtraction here. 9250 minus 3400. Okay. So it's a 0 minus 0 gives 0. 5 minus 0 gives 5. 2 minus 4. 2 is less than 4. So we have to borrow from the next place. So on borrowing the 9 in thousands please will become 8. And 2 in hundreds please will become 12. So it is 12 minus 4. 12 minus 4 is 8. Okay. And 8 minus 3. 8 minus 3 gives 5. So got the answer as 5850. Okay. So, what we can say the amount left with Rhea is equal to 5850 rupees, 5850. Okay, so we got the final answer. Our question was to find how much money is left with Rhea and we have to find that amount left with Rhea. The amount left with Rhea is 5850. Okay, so whenever the question comes like this, uh, we have to first we have to add and then we have to subtract when we have to do the two operations in one question we have to first add first do the addition and then we have to subtract okay so hope that it's all clear to you so i will send you the notes and homeworks that you have to write down neatly in your notebooks until then we meet the fourth next time be safe at home okay thank you